There are nine Turkish military bases present in northern Iraqi Kurdistan, according to a local Iraqi Kurdish newspaper reported Sunday. All the bases are reportedly located in Erbil and Duhok provinces, the two strongholds where the Kurdistan Democratic Party, led by the Kurdistan President Marsoud Barzani, holds sway. In its latest issue, Awina, a Kurdish newspaper, has interviewed Buzan Tekin, the second highest ranking leader of the militant PKK. Tekin has noted the occupancy of nine military compounds of the Turkish government, which have been openly present since the Kurdish civil war fought between Barzani and Talibani's parties in the late 1990s. The presence of the Turkish forces in Iraqi Kurdistan, which has been much safer than the rest of Iraq following the collapse of Saddam's regime, is seen by many people as illegal and a violation of Iraqi sovereignty. However, neither the Iraqi government nor the Kurdish government has taken any measures to expel these troops from Iraq. So far, the Kurdish government has not been effective enough to prevent foreign intervention in Kurdistan. It has been just an entity ruled by two different parties. As long as the Kurds are not united and the government is not separated from the political parties, we will continue to remain weak. Furthermore, the Turkish military and intelligence forces have a wide presence in Kurdistan. This is very dangerous. We from the Kurdish parliament are against this as well as any covert deal signed by anyone in Kurdistan. According to local reports, the bases include heavy weapons such as tanks and several thousand Turkish troops. One of the bases is located in Amidi, a Kurdish town near Duhok province, where the Financial Times reported last year that the soldiers are living peacefully with the local people. To find out more details on these Turkish bases, Press TV contacted both the Ministry of Interior and Ministry of Peshmerga forces of the Kurdistan regional government, but the Kurdish government declined to make any comments on this issue. Following the 2003 U.S. invasion of Iraq, several countries, including U.K. and South Korea, sent their troops to combat insurgencies. However, the semi-autonomous region of Iraqi Kurdistan has been bitterly opposed to any further surge of Turkish troops, fearing a possible occupation of Kurdistan by Turkey. Analysts say that Marsou Barzani gave the green light for Turkish forces to enter Kurdistan about 12 years ago to gain the upper hand against the militias of his rival Jalal Talabani and the PKK. The Turkish reluctance to withdraw these troops is seen as a sign as a possible attack against Turkey's longtime military opposition, the PKK, anytime soon. Cynthia Shanahan, Press TV, Erbil.